Eutrophication of water bodies leads to one of the most conspicuous environmental problems. In the Nutrient Pollution Lab, students explore the dynamics of algal blooms, anoxia, toxin biomagnification, and other ecological problems associated with water pollution. The lab takes place in a lake with a growing city on its shores. Students start out by manipulating the phosphorus input to the lake. Just like all our labs, the instructions are spelled out in a detailed workbook that you'll see in a minute. Phosphorus comes into the lake through natural processes, but also enters as point and non-point source pollution from the city. Students increase the limiting nutrient to twice or three times its normal input rate and record what happens to the algal populations, and later to the higher trophic levels. As you can see, increasing nutrient input leads to a bloom of green algae, with effects on both higher trophic levels and oxygen. In addition to recording their observations, students are asked to report the results quantitatively and practice making graphs of their data. In a second set of experiments, heavy metal toxins are added to the lake. Students reach this and all other exercises using a pop-up menu at the top of the screen. In the toxins exercise, the runoff from the city contains heavy metal toxins. The phytoplankton absorb toxins from the water, and the toxins move to the higher trophic levels through the food chain. Students measure concentrations of the heavy metal in the different trophic levels over time and see biomagnification of the toxin. Again, they must describe the qualitative pattern as well as quantitatively measure and graph the data. A final exercise is more open-ended as students are transported to the lake 50 years later where conditions have changed dramatically. They must conduct ex experiments with nutrient additions and subtractions to find out what is different about the lake now. Just like all our labs, we have a detailed workbook that takes the students through all the experiments step by step. The workbook also includes data tables, spaces for the students to answer questions and make predictions, and additional information and references for students who are interested. So although, as with all our labs, we recommend doing this one in class, it also works well as a homework and for online classes. If you'd like to see a sample of this lab or any of our others, go ahead and get in touch with us and we'll be happy to get you more information on the program and the labs. Thanks very much.